get everything that you think that you know about Brawl Stars because Club League is now Mega Pig. Is Mega Pig? Is that right? And if you use my creator code in the description, you'll get 50,000 silver. Okay, who wrote this script? Is it you? Yeah, so what if I did? Brawl Stars is killing Club League and replacing it with something called Mega Pig. And no, I'm not joking, but it'll make sense in a second when I show you. But first, let's talk about the brand new Brawler Charlie that's coming into the game. Charlie is the first Brawler in a brand new trio called the Circus Trio and will be the chromatic Brawler of the season. She's also the only Brawler that's coming in this update. Now at max level, she has 6,600 hit points, which is the same as Gray. For her main shot, she throws a yo-yo, which will move out in a long range that is the same as Brock's, although slightly wider as well. Her main attack deals 1,600 damage and stops when it hits a target and returns to her. Now, her yo-yo can deal damage either by hitting a target or if it passes through something on the way back, similar to Carl. However, unlike Carl, her shot stops when it hits an enemy and doesn't pierce. And also, just like Carl or B, she only has one ammo slot as she can't fire again until her yo-yo returns. This means at close range, she'll be able to deal really quick damage. Now, her super does damage too, but it seems to be delayed with this new mechanic. Her super is called Cocoon, and as the name suggests, she goes all Spider-Man and fires out a web and cocoons her target. Now, while in the cocoon, the enemy cannot do anything until the cocoon breaks. Now, the cocoon will either break by waiting for his health to slowly go down, or the enemy can shoot the cocoon, breaking it early and releasing the player trapped inside. When the player is freed from the cocoon, they will have lost 50% of their health in the process. As we can see, as 8-Bit goes in with 10,000 health and comes out with 5,000 health. For Charlie, her hypercharged super will spawn three little spiders when she cocoons someone that seek out the nearest target and attacks them. Now, we didn't actually see these spiders land an attack on anybody, but I'm going to guess that they're going to deal damage over time on a target, just like Eve's super. Now, I'll show you the other hypercharges in just a minute, but first, let's take a look at the huge change that's coming with the total rework of Club League. First off, Club League, Club Coins, and the Club Shop are all being removed from the game, but the skins will still be available in the shop for bling or for gems. And if you don't spend your club coins before the change, well then they will automatically get converted to coins and power points both equally. So if you'd rather have coins or if you'd rather have power points, spend them before the update drops. With the removal of club games, it will be replaced with a monthly event called Mega Pig. And no, I'm not joking, it's actually called Mega Pig. One weekend per month, everyone in your club will receive 18 tickets. Now with these tickets, you play an event called Mega Pig. The game modes and the events are absolutely crazy and I'll show you that in a second but for every game that you and your clubmates win it'll add that to the mega pig it's a pig that's like really big when the event ends the pig will break open and you'll get rewarded for how well you and your clubmates did during the event now from what I can see you're gonna need 250 total club wins to max out your mega pig and if everybody in the club gets 18 tickets and there's 30 club members that's 540 total tickets so you only need to win less than 50% of your games to max out your mega pig so activity in your club is is probably a little bit more important than skill. Unless, of course, you just lose all your game. And if you max out your Mega Pig, every member will get 15 star drops plus some additional rewards on top of that, some resource rewards. And if you're one of the top contributors in your club, you'll even get more rewards added to the collector rewards you're already getting. Oh, and also, side note on the star drops, they added like a cool little like open all button at the very top so you don't have to go through each one of them if you don't want to. You can just open them all. Kind of cool. Okay, so that's the structure and the rewards you're playing for but what are you playing in? Well, that's where it gets kind of crazy. So each game will be like an abridged version of Power League. There will be zero bands, so you can pick whatever you like as well as your opponent can pick the same as you. Now the game format is a best of one where you will either play a normal game on a randomized map or you could end up with some of the crazy new modifiers that are coming into the game. Now the first modifier that they showed is called Super Bushy. With this modifier, bushes will spawn from other bushes, so the map just gets progressively filled with more and more bushes. Kind of like my grandpa's butt crack. The next new one is unlimited power. In this mode, when you kill someone, they will drop a power cube, just like in Showdown, which if you collect enough, and they're, I, I don't know what this is going to look like, but I, I think it's going to get crazy. And the last one is instant overtime, where the walls break at the start of the game, which means Jackie's gadget may finally come in handy. Now, it looks like the Mega Pig event will have its very own environment as well. As you can see with like massive coins and PowerPoints and bling, the resources spread around the environment, which looks really cool. Now, this event will take place for the first time in mid-November. So there is a bit of a wait, but that does give you time to find an active club that you can be a part of. But you won't have to 
wait nearly as long to check out the new hyperchargers, but who's getting what? Well, I already showed you Charlie's. Jesse will be getting a big buff to Scrappy, causing him to deal more damage and get more health. Now, we didn't see Scrappy actually land a shot, but he has almost 10,000 health, which is like a 50% health buff, which sounds kind of like Crow's worst nightmare. And unless you're Shelly, you run away from Rosa when she has her super. But now, that's going to be a bit tougher because Rosa's going to be getting one that's going to create a big area of slow around her while she's hypercharged with that super. Lou will be able to freeze anyone instantly in his super when he's hypercharged, which sounds kind of insane. When Maisie uses her super while she's hypercharged, she will fire off normal projectiles all around her in addition to her super which was already strong. And Colette will have a little spirit that follows her, dealing damage a second time if you are hit by it. Now the hypercharges will all be released on the same day and not staggered like before. You'll be able to buy them with gems in the shop for a big discount, as well as get them out of star drops right away. And you'll have to wait two weeks to get them from the brawler screen if you only want to use your coins. Along with the update, we're gonna be getting another hypercharged unleashed event, but this time it's only 15 wins instead of 25 like before. Thank God. The reward will be a random hypercharge for one of the new hypercharge abilities that are going to be released. There's also going to be a 25 day login calendar to replace the rewards that we would have gotten from Club League. And the higher your max Club League rank was all time is going to affect what rewards you're going to be getting. Now, another cool feature that they've added is now you can share your replays in the club chat. Kind of cool. And the other thing that you can do in club chat, spam a clown pin. If you pause the video right now, you're going to see a QR code. And if you scan this QR code, it'll link you to Brawl Stars and you'll be able to collect a free clown pin that is going to be extremely toxic and I am not looking forward to that. And before we jump into the skins, they're bringing back present plunder, but like in a Halloween theme. So it's called pumpkin plunder. And finally, we have a ton of new skins. And in my next video, I'll go over all of them in detail with release dates and prices, but let's check them out real quick. For the Bizarre Circus, we have four skins. The host of them is Ringmaster Byron, whose shots are eyeballs. We also have Cobra Lola with her skeletal snakes and the nightmare inducing dark clown Sam. Yikes. Yeah. And then we have a brand new legendary skin for Nita called Tusked Nita. And she throws beach balls for her shots and she spawns a big elephant, Bruce. There's gonna be three Brawloween skins and two of them are color variations of previous exclusive skins. There's White Wolf Leon that looks like Werewolf Leon. And we also have Hoot Hoot Shelly, which is like a remake of Witch Shelly. Both of these skins are mythic skins. And then there is the very cool Kabucha Fang, which is a Supercell make skin. And also in this clip, we can see that Fang's gonna be getting a nerf. His main attack damage is going down from 2800 like it is in the game right now to 2720. So he's getting a small nerf to his main attack, but I'll have the full list of buffs and nerfs tomorrow for you. We're also getting four skins in celebration of Diwali and they are called the Warrior's Journey skins. And honestly, all of these skins look really awesome. First off is Dasis Grom, the multi-headed king. Then we have Supreme Bow who fires off rockets and has a really cool effect for his mines exploding. And with that, we have a color variation called Brother Bow. And then finally we have Banara Frank. The next color variations for skins will be going to Rebel Lola. She's getting one called Lavish Lola. And keeping the color variation theme going, we're getting two for Mecha Edgar. We're going to have Unit 00 and Unit 01. Mortis is getting a hilarious hockey skin, as well as Gus is getting one called Boy Scout Gus. And finally, for Charlie, we're getting a 29 gym skin called The Amazing Charlie, as she dresses as like sort of a superhero. And then the Brawl Pass skin is Rosie Charlie, where her super cocoons players in like these huge huge roses. Pretty neat. Now I will be going over everything in great detail in the next video, so be sure to come back for that.